My name is Billy Houston, Super Weed Wolf, Pack 213, operating out of Big Range, Montana. My specialty? Racing stunt cars. Jim Ferguson and I built a super stunt car, the XL9. Late afternoon, June 10th. Practice a few time trial runs up the hill behind Central School. It was time for dinner. We flipped the quarter to see we pay. Jim won. Off we went to eat and left the little XL9 unattended and unguarded. It was a fatal mistake. I didn't know it at the time, but a bunch of hoods, the West Side gang from across town, had been spying on us all afternoon. As soon as we left, they attacked our little XL9. first one after dinner, I knew I was in trouble. The XL9 dropped up the slope like a log out of a grease chute. I couldn't control her. Then, everything went black. I dreamed of wheels spinning around in my head for a long time. I was thrown clear of the XL9. I rolled and groaned on the ground in convulsions. I must have been all smashed and torn apart. My right leg and arm were just hanging by the tendons. Only my wee blue uniform held my body together, like a bundle of loose meat and bones in a blue bay. Jim got to me first. I guess he was crying because he thought I was dead or dying. Caught, nothing could be done to save me. I was battered to a bloody pulp without a sign of life. While the caribou was left to me from the scene, the West Side Gang, like a pack of demons, returned to the scene of the crime to celebrate my death too early. I was lucky. An international convention of surgeons and the World Society of Electronic Engineers were meeting in our town. Technology can work wonders. When they cut off my Weeble uniform, my right leg and arm dropped off. Yet, after a long, long consultation among the surgeons and electronic experts of the world, they were determined to rebuild me. They could make me better than I was. That's what somebody told me, they said. First, they put a new arm on me. They vitalized it with an electric charge from a power cap pack. It must have been the longest surgical procedure in history. Teams worked in relays for nearly a week before they got me all together again. The whole operation cost a pile of money, over six million dollars. They put a lot of electronic gear inside of me. They prepared a new leg. The leg was made of a special new metal. It looked almost real. Then they brought it to life with the power pack. They welded it to my upper joints by a new surgical method. Then. The crucial moment. With the power pack, they jolted me awake with a tremendous wall of electric charge. They got me on my feet. I tested my new bionic leg and arm. I felt as good as new. In fact, better than ever. After getting up, I lifted a 600-pound beam over my head with one hand.
the doctors and maybe some fast and powerful, friends left to be treasure of the pack. One day, as I was bringing our money to the bank, the West Side Gang jumped. A few minutes later, they had sneaked into their hideout and began celebrating over their ill-gotten gains. I quickly regained consciousness and immediately started after them. I could race faster than the swiftest car. Only in slow motion could I be recorded as anything more than a blur on film. A super brave found the hideout. I broke in. They zapped me again. Then they chained me down with the links of strongest steel. But I could soon came to my senses. My strength was intact. I broke the iron links like paper ribbon. A terrible battle broke out. I had all but one of them down. Then, all down. I threw them out of the hideout one by one for the police to pick up. The pods of light, with the help of super strength, had conquered evil again.